Hi, I'm Philippa. I'm really excited to be here with you today, sharing a hand tie tutorial, working with the most beautiful array of flowers. This is forming part of Bouquets to Art with De Young. Now, looking at the flowers in front of me, I have got so many stunning herbs and the fragrance coming up from this table is really intoxicating. And there's some really delicate flowers, including phlox and clematis. I haven't gone for any big, bold, dominant flowers. This is all about delicateness and a gentleness in design. And I wanted to share something with you that you can easily create at home. We're going to look at creating a bit of a spiral hand tie design, but it's quite relaxed. You don't need to know too much about floristry to be able to do this. Now, starting with the first stem. I'm choosing a phlox, and I'm gonna hold it in my left hand. Now, I'm doing that because I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna use my dominant hand to place all the flowers. If you're left-handed, then do the opposite. So holding it in my left hand, I'm then gonna take a second stem, and I'm gonna place it directly in front. And I'm placing it at an angle. This is going to form the spiral shape, which holds the stems beautifully and creates that really stunning, sort of rich mixture of different stems when you, look, um, when you look at the design from the top. And then I'm going to turn it. So I've taken the stem, I've placed it directly in front, and I'm gonna turn it round. So this stem is now at the back. Then I'm taking a second stem, and I'm going to do exactly the same. So each time I'm placing a stem in exactly the same position and then I'm turning it. I'm turning it at about 180 degrees and as I start building the design I'll start reducing that so probably to about 90 degrees. You'll see as we go along. So choosing a different stem each time and turning the bouquet. And I've chosen this variety of flowers because, because of the colours, but also because they each offer a really sort of beautiful texture into the arrangement. You got sort of the, the really sort of beautiful lime greens from the Annie, and then the delicateness of the pinks and the purples from some of the herbs and the phlox. So each time exactly the same, taking a stem and placing it directly in front and then turning it. Now, at this stage, you can see that there is, this beginning to build a spiral, but it still feels a little bit odd at this stage. When I first started creating hand ties, actually, this was one of the hardest designs I found to master. And my hand would cramp up and I'd become really nervous and frustrated. But as long as you follow the exact same steps, you'll be able to create this so much easier than I did at the beginning just turning and twisting. And if at any point your hand becomes cramped because you're holding the stems so tightly, you just release them. Just shake your hand up, maybe shake your shoulders. I always think the best floristry comes when you're really relaxed. So each time, just placing another stem. Now, I'm really excited because we are just about to launch our first masterclass, which is going to be held online. It's called Floristry Fundamentals Masterclass. And the sign-ups close on the 17th of July, and then we're launching it on the 19th of July. And it's for anybody, anywhere in the world, because the whole of the tutorials take place online, it doesn't matter where you are. And we've designed it specifically for people without any previous floristry experience. But also, if you are a florist, perhaps you've been working for a while and you're in really need of some new inspiration and some excitement into your designs, then it's a great course for you to join. And the community is a real global community and it's such a safe space to be able to share your ideas and post your images up in a very private community space and ask for feedback and help and get various other ideas. And in addition to all the tutorials, so we've got 20 tutorials in total, of which 12 form 12 really unique designs. We also have a series of live Q and A's. So if you've got any particular questions, you can submit those and I'll then answer them live. 
and they are all recorded. So if the time doesn't work for you, then you can go back and watch it at another time. And once it's been released, you have lifetime access to the course and you'll receive any updates as we go through the years. And the Fundamental Masterclass is only released once a year. So just this once for 2020, and then the next one will be launched in 2021. And if you follow the link, then you'll be able to receive, be able to read, read a bit more information about it. And as I'm busily talking, I'm sort of seeing that some of these flowers here are a little bit close together and I want to have a bit more of a distribution of them. So if you find that, all you need to do is just pull up some of the stems, just free them. I'm going to turn the bouquet a bit more and place it in again here. And you can really see now that the spiral is beginning to form. You can see the crisscross of the shapes. And then if you look at the bouquet from the top, you can see the depth in the intricacy and just the texture from all of those different stems. I love working with detailed small stems, just as much as I love working with some really big, bold flowers. It's fun to mix it up. It doesn't always have to be enormous peonies and garden roses, although they're very beautiful. It's so lovely working with something that is sort of more delicate. So you can see now that as the bouquet is becoming a little bit larger, I'm no longer turning it as much as 180 degrees. I'm just turning it sort of in small sections now. And I'm just making sure that I've got a rough, a rough dome shape. I don't want it to be absolutely exact. This is something that's just really loose, really unpretentious and relaxed in style and shape. And I love, I love having stems that are a bit wobbly and crooked. They just sort of add such amazing character to these kind of designs. Nothing perfect. You don't want anything that's perfect. And if as you're going along, you've decided that you want to add some other stems into the center of the design. So for example, I'd quite like to have a clematis coming out here. You can easily do that. So I'm gonna take this stem and I'm gonna place it in right into the center just really gently, and I'm just gonna pull it down, push it down through my hands, and I'm gonna find the bottom of the stem, which is here. I'm just gonna gently pull that down until it's in the position that I want it to be in. And I'm probably gonna put one more into here. So exactly the same. Again, just pricking it down, making sure my hands are relatively loose and poking pulling the stem from there, making sure it's not interrupting any of the other stems as I'm doing that. And it's really lovely adding the clematis in because it just adds a bit of height into the center of the bouquet. And that sort of movement from the flowers and the mix of the greens and the Really beautiful purples. And just a couple of very last stems to go in with the mint. And then I'm going to tie the bouquet off, just checking, see if there's any other stems I want to pull up or indeed pull down a little bit so I get that sort of beautiful shape. And you can use anything at all to tie your hand tie design off with. It can be garden twine, 
any form of string or perhaps there's a ribbon that you have lying around. For this design, I'm going to use some paper covered wire. Just going to bring it round. And all I'm going to do is simply twist it. Just twist it twice so it catches. And then twisting it a second time to make sure it's completely secure. And then right at the end, I would simply cut the stems to the height of the vase, or perhaps if it's going to be a gift bouquet, then I would wrap it just in simple brown paper. I hope you've really enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me with Bouquets to Art and De Young.